Abandoned checkouts mean lost revenue for your Shopify store. I will walk you through setting up recovery emails that bring customers back. In the Shopify dashboard under abandoned checkouts, you can see the list of customers abandoned at the checkout page. Let me show you the exact setup process to create an automated follow-up and recapture those potential customers. First, let's clarify the difference between an abandoned checkout and an abandoned cart. When a customer adds products to their cart but leaves your store before reaching out the checkout page, that's an abandoned cart. In this case, you typically don't have their email address unless they are already logged in. When a customer reaches the checkout page, enters their email and shipping details but doesn't complete the purchase, that's an abandoned checkout. Here you have already captured their contact information. This video focuses primarily on recovering abandoned checkouts. Later, I'll cover the steps for recovering abandoned carts as well. On the Shopify dashboard, select the Marketing tab. Under Marketing, select Automations. Shopify already has an automation template for abandoned checkout. We need to turn it on. Click on the Recover Abandoned Checkout flow. Click on the Turn on Automation button to activate the flow. If you are doing this for the first time in your store, it will ask you to install the Shopify Flow app. The app is free to use and is required for automated emails. The Mailflow app will be installed with just one click. Now you see the active status for the Recover Abandoned Checkout Flow. Let's see how the flow process is and how to customize the email template for the abandoned checkouts. Click on the Edit button. Here is the complete flow. It starts when a customer abandons at the checkout page. Then it checks if the value of the product is greater than zero. Then it waits for the specified time you set. I'll set one minute here for this demonstration. You can set it to 4 hours or 24 hours or any other time. You need to test the wait time with different time periods what works for your customers. Next, it checks if the customer hasn't placed any other order after abandoning the checkout page. Next, it checks if the product is available in your store. Finally, it sends the email. This is how the default email body looks. It contains your shop name or logo, recovery text and the list of the abandoned products. With the continue checkout button, the customer can directly visit the checkout page. You can use the default email template or customize the template. I'll customize this email template here. I'll click on this edit email button. I need to click on this continue button to revert it to draft. Here I can edit the template. Click on the section you want to edit. To add a new section, click the plus icon and you can select what type of section you want to add. I'll select the text block. Let's add a discount coupon. This will increase the chance of the conversion. We will create the coupon in the dashboard later. Also you can edit the email subject and add the discount coupon to increase the email click rate. Something like this. Customers must manually input the coupon code to avail the 10% discount. In another video, I'll show the process for integrating the discount coupon with the continue checkout button so that customers don't need to add the code manually. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Personalized emails with customer names convert significantly better. So I'll add a greeting here. I'll add a text box. I'll write hi. I'll select this icon and I'll select the first name. For the default value, I'll add customer. I'll save it. Now one important setting. The emails will be sent to the customers only who subscribe to email marketing. On the checkout page, after the email field, there is a checkbox. If the customers check this email me with news and offers box, then they become subscribers. However, most customers will not check this box. So here we need to change this to all customers. Now everyone will receive the abandoned checkout email if they have entered the email address. Customers can always unsubscribe using the unsubscribe link in the footer. Here you see the email will be sent using this email address notification at permination.com because I have set this custom branded email address for email deliveries. You can watch this video to learn how to get a branded email address for your Shopify store for free. Now I will set the email to active with this set to active button. Here I'll click on this apply changes button. I'll click on this apply button. I'll exit from the workflow design page. Now we will try the abandoned checkout flow. But before that we need to create the discount coupon as we promised in the email. I'll go to the discounts tab. Here I'll click create discount. I'll select this amount of products option. I'll type the coupon code. Welcome back. 
I'll set the percentage value to 10%. Here I need to select the products for which I want to activate this coupon code. I'll click on this browse button. I'll select all the products in the Shopify store. I'll click on this add button and I'll click on this save discount button. We are ready with all the configurations for recovering abandoned checkouts. Let's try it. I'll select a product in the store. I'll click on this buy it now button to go to the checkout page. I'll quickly fill all the details. I haven't checked this box and it should work because we have set the abandoned checkout emails for all customers who entered the email address. Let's abandon the checkout. I'll close this tab. I'll need to wait some time because the flow takes slightly more time than the time you set to complete the process. If you click this button view workflow details, you can see the status of the runs. When I scroll down, I can see all the recent runs. The last run was 27 minutes ago because I paused the video recording to take a break after abandoning the checkout page. Here I can see I have received the email. This is the subject and it has my first name. This is the coupon welcome back for 10% discount. The email was sent from notification at permination.com. Let's click on this continue checkout button. I can see all my details are filled. I'll enter the discount coupon code for the 10% discount as promised by the merchant. Now I can pay and complete this purchase. I'll click on this complete order. The order is completed. Now I'll go to orders, abandoned checkouts. And here you can see this abandoned checkout is recovered. Now let's see how to recover the abandoned carts. Inside the automations, you will see this recover abandoned cart flow. We need to activate it. I'll click on this turn on automation button. I'll click the edit button to see the flow and customize the email template. The customers must be logged in. Without logging in, Shopify won't be able to collect the email addresses. When a customer is logged in and abandons the cart, the flow will wait for 4 hours. You can click and update the time here. Then it checks if the customer hasn't proceeded to the checkout page or hasn't purchased any other product already. It also checks if the customer hasn't already received an abandoned cart email in the last 14 days. If you don't want this step, you can delete this condition. Or you can update the number of days here. Finally, it checks if the product is still available in the store and then it sends the email. This is the default email template. You can edit the template with this edit email button. Here you can update the email body. Maybe you want to add a discount coupon to attract customers. You can update the email subject to something like this. When done, click the set to active button. I'll exit from the workflow design page. Now we have both abandoned checkout and abandoned cart flow active. Hopefully we will see some increased conversion in the store. Till then subscribe to the channel and leave your feedback in the comments below. Thank you for watching.